for the last three years, we've been talking on this channel about credit card companies beginning to flag your purchases at gun stores. So if you go into a gun store and you buy a gun and you buy ammo, they're going to flag you and they're going to turn you over to law enforcement. Well, is this really happening? Well, of course it's happening. In 2022, 5.1 million red flags were sent to local sheriffs from Visa and MasterCard. Let that sink in for a second. In just 2022, 5.1 million red flag reports have been sent to sheriffs from just Visa and MasterCard. Now, what we're seeing today is there's a particular state, it's not gonna surprise you, that is now going to make it a law that all gun and ammo purchases are tracked and flagged and sent to local law enforcement. Well, what are we talking about here? Now, before we get into it, I do want to take a moment, thank our sponsor, Victory Chrysler, Dodge Jeep Ram in Kansas City, Kansas, for not just being the hands and feet of Jesus Christ by building orphanages around this country and food pantries around this country, uh, but we've also partnered with them and we're giving away a brand new fishing boat. All you gotta do is call the number below, schedule a virtual test drive, and that's all you have to do. You're automatically entered. And we're gonna be drawing that this week, so your time is running out. That phone number is below. So the state I'm talking about is California. And again, this is no surprise to you, but while they're passing laws saying, you know, okay, every time that you go into a gun store, it's tracked now. If you go into a gun store in California, anywhere, it is gonna be tracked if you make a purchase with your credit card. Um, and then things will be red flagged based on, well, wait, isn't this guy bought too much ammo or that sort of thing. So while that is happening, we also have many states that are passing laws saying that credit cards cannot do that kind of business in their state. Georgia, Kentucky, Iowa, Wyoming, and right now uh, there's 13 other states trying to pass such laws uh, to really, you know, again, make it illegal for the credit card companies to do this. Because, you know, I've said this many times, red flag laws are by far the most dangerous thing to the Second Amendment. If for some reason a sheriff can just come on in and take your guns from you because somebody told him something about you or he just decided it and you, you, know, you get your due process later. It's the most dangerous thing to the Second Amendment. Uh, both of the past presidents have recommended this be a federal law. They, they, you know, they like take the guns first and, and go to court later, you know, but th that obviously is very dangerous because if you consider like a uh, people group dangerous, for example, Christians or Jews or whatever, if all of a sudden that people group is dangerous, well, that's what Germany did. They, they, they determined the Jews were dangerous and they took their guns and we saw how all that played out. So if the credit card companies are then fueling that fire, goodness gracious, like, could you imagine just being a guy, minding your own business, no big deal, you just got a big weekend out at the range, maybe you're taking a class and the instructor said you need at least a thousand rounds for this class, so you go buy a couple thousand rounds of ammo, boom, red flag, boom, sheriff takes your guns, good luck. Good luck getting them back. This is how it's going to play out, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to go back to that number I said at the beginning. 5.1 million red flags in 2022 was sent to local sheriffs around this country because a computer system and Visa and MasterCard thought that that sheriff needs to know about your business. And, uh, you know, and many of those led to that sheriff then seizing guns from different people, especially in states like California, New York, Illinois, New Jersey, 
Hawaii. I mean, it, it's you're not safe anymore if you're a gun owner in those states. If these just here's how you can fix this problem: don't use your credit card when you go to the gun store. Um, you know, that's how I would do it. I, I don't use a credit card at a gun store at all. And I live in Missouri, uh, where we are a fairly free Second Amendment state. So, you know, this is a dangerous thing. Um, you know, I, I it's been a long time since we've had leaders of this country who really are like, wait a second, red flag laws are dangerous. Um, most of our leaders love the idea of being able to take people's guns. Um, and now what we're seeing is certain states making it a law that these credit card companies send in these reports from all these gun shops and anybody that sells guns or ammo. And then they're red flagging it and they're sending it to your sheriff. And I made a video recently, don't trust your local sheriff. Because you may have a local sheriff that's like, I will never do anything with this. And maybe he won't, but he's only one election away from being not the sheriff anymore. And now you're stuck with somebody who really would like to take your guns. Loves the idea. Let's take the guns first and do due process later. That's, that's what they like. And if you don't think there's a massive, greater than 50% of the population in this country believes in red flag laws. And now you got the credit card companies just fueling it like a flame, man. Just fueling that flame. And it's going to combust one of these days. Um, but this is what we're dealing with, you know. Credit card companies, 5.1 million red flag reports sent to local sheriffs. I mean, what in the world is happening? Um, be careful out there. Don't use your credit card to buy guns or ammo for sure. Uh, any thoughts or insight on any of this, uh, definitely put it below. I do want to take a moment and say most people watch this channel, not subscribers, click that subscribe button. Greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is also below. Don't forget, call to register to win that boat. It's this week is the end. Uh, that number's below. Most important part, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns.